Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, families, the world in general right now. Today we are going to take a look at Taurus's new love tarot reading for the month of April. In this reading, we are going to tap into the energies with the Island Time Wellness deck. And then we're going to take a look into the new person coming in. Um, if you're compatible, how do they feel about you, all that fun stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome to stay. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other placements. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that's resonating with you, there's most likely something in the message. I like to say that you're going to know if the message is meant for you because you're going to feel it. Okay, It's going to hit you and there's not going to be any questioning whatsoever. So if you're questioning, if you're having any doubt, it's probably not meant for you. I do apologize. Again, you're more than welcome to check other placements. It's all about the title, okay? For more information on how to book a personal reading, energy cleanse kits I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month, other useful information, please kindly check the description box below. Also, if you would like future messages, you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, feel free to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome and it helps set your intentions with the channel for future messages, okay? So, Taurus, let's jump right in and tap into these energies around you. Have the 528 hertz flowing in the background, so healing vibes to the world out there again. So let's see, Taurus, what we can see here for you for the month of April 2020. Also, guys, um, if you want to check out the music that I play here, there is a playlist called Meditation Music where all of the beats that I play in the background will be linked in that playlist, um, as well as some extra for chakra cleansing, all that fun stuff, um, all that natural healing stuff. This channel I created not only to help you guys along your self-discovery journey, but hopefully to be able to eventually put some you know, natural healing into the world. So... I will from time to time um, give you guys tips and tricks using natural remedies and methods um, because that's really where my love is at, um, herbology and natural healing. So let's see here, Taurus. Enough talking. Let's get to the cards. Most important message here for Taurus Spirit. What does Taurus need to see for the month of April in love? Please and thank you. <clears throat> Uh-oh. So... I feel like there's a person who you may have recently separated with from the past um, that you guys had a falling out or a disagreement that you guys aren't talking right now. I feel like you're not... I get the sense that you're done with the soulmate stuff. That's the sense that I'm getting here, Taurus. It's like, you don't care. Like if you're, if this is your soulmate and they're going to disrespect you or treat you a certain way, you're not having it. Not today, buddy. Not today. So let's see here. This is interesting. Do feel like this is very recent, very recent energy. 
I do feel like there is new love coming in for you guys. So that's what we're going to tap, try to tap into today. Try to leave this X out of it. But we'll see what comes out. I have to read the cards as they come. I will mention I did reshuffle for Gemini because I wasn't satisfied. So if I feel the same way with you, Taurus, if your ex keeps coming back into this picture, we may reshuffle. So let's see here. Most important message for Taurus spirit. What does Taurus need to see for new love coming in for April? Please and thank you. I do feel like you're kind of done with the soulmate. You don't care what kind of soul contract. You can catch me in the next lifetime, buddy. Let's see. Five of Pentacles is trying to, was uncertain which pile it wanted to go in. Let's take a look here, Cans, Taurus, into um, the energy surrounding you in this situation. Could be dealing with a fire sign. I feel like you're a little guarded, okay? I feel like this past situation, whatever you're moving forward from, has kind of uh, taken its toll. It's done. It's done a number on you, and I feel like you are ready here, Cancer, to move forward, Taurus. There's a lot of fire energy, a lot of passion. Could be dealing with a Cancer because I keep saying Cancer. I feel like there is a need here for closure on this past situation, and this was coming up in. Gemini's reading to Taurus, so you might want to check that out, but I'm getting the sense that once you fully released this past person, that's when this completion of a cycle is going to come in, okay? Taking your time right now, it seems like the world is locked down. A lot of people in the world are locked down, so if that pertains to you, or if you're distancing yourself from people trying to stay healthy or uh, whatever the case may be, right now is a good time to kind of reevaluate, you know, who's who's called and checked up on you and who hasn't. Who's, you know, presented themselves to you to see how things were going and who hasn't. It's really a time right now to kind of cleanse. Cleanse any people, places, and things out of your life that are no longer serving, right? The people that don't reach out during these trying times, um, aren't checking on you to see how things are going, what, what you're up to, or how things are with you. If they're not checking up on you as much as you're checking up on them, then it's not an equal give and take. And maybe it is time to take a step back from any of those relationships that don't present themselves to you as you're presenting yourself to them. So let's see what else here, Taurus. This new person spirit for Taurus, how do they feel? This person may have emotions towards you. If you have a new person, there is a new person coming in. This could be a water sign. I feel like this is going to be a person who is going to be open in expressing their emotions. I feel like if you already have a person 
that you are talking to, this person is going to come forward with how they're feeling very soon. I feel like this connection is um, going to be a little bit more open than your last connection. Maybe in the past, your past person wasn't so open emotionally. Maybe they were a little guarded. And I feel like your new person coming in is going to be able to express themselves openly with you. Okay. I also get the sense here that they're looking for something that's, you know, more traditional. That's more um, by the book. By the book of like a traditional marriage, you know, where you have one husband and one wife and a family and a baby and a baby carriage and a white picket fence or, you know, whatever your dream consists of. But I feel like it's like the norm, if you will. <clears throat> what is their intentions here? Let's see what their intentions are, Taurus, towards you. What is this person's intentions toward Taurus spirit? Please and thank you. Waiting. I feel like they may also be watching, seeing how everything plays out, taking their time, not really um, pushing forward, okay? I feel like this is kind of like a slower paced type of energy. Okay, very, a very grounded, they mate with the king of pentacles. Um, this is a person who is very grounded, who is very goal orientated and um, probably has some type of business or at least a business plan that they're working on. It's your entrepreneurial um, type of energy. Okay. I do feel like they still can... They still kind of feel murky, like you may not be coming fully forward with all of your emotions or with anything that you have to tell them. They maybe even feel like you're hiding something here. So um, maybe there is a need to kind of have a conversation if you know what person that I'm talking about. This is a person that you have already been entertaining. Maybe there is a time to have a conversation. If it's brand new or you haven't met this person, I wouldn't worry about the murkiness. That's part of the newness of relationships. There are going to be things that you don't know about the person right up front. Um, trust is something that's earned. It's not just given, okay? I feel like you're willing to put in this work. I feel like um, this is a new connection. For some of you, this could be a person that you already know. For others of you, this could be a person that hasn't even come into your life yet. I also feel like this person is going to help you process any past hurt, past emotions. Maybe there's some similarities with what you guys have gone through where they're going to be able to say this is how I got through this situation or this is how I overcame that, okay? Is this a soul tie? <clears throat> is this a soul tie for... Taurus. So this is the passion card. You'll hear a lot of people talk about this is the um, male part or whatever. This is definitely fire energy, so it's very passionate. I feel like this is a very loving, very passionate connection. I feel like this person has or will have a lot of love for you, will express a lot of love for you. And this is the Two of Cups. 
so I'm sure you know what that means. But I'm not going to say it, Taurus, because you're not into that soulmate crap anymore. So I feel like this is going to be very balanced um, connection at equal give and take. I feel like you guys are going to have a strong connection. Communicate, okay? Don't be afraid to open up about what you've been through in the past, okay? Don't be afraid to um, share, you know, how a person made you feel or how a situation made you feel because that's only going to bring in more clarity. So let's see here. Let's put these over here because we're going to clarify <clears throat> this Taurus. Most important message here for Taurus Spirit. What does Taurus need to see? Please clarify for us the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant, please, for Taurus. Two of Wands. So again, this is a new connection. I feel like th this is you. If you look at the Two of Wands in this deck, it kind of looks like a female. So this is like a male and female kind of observing, doing, mirroring each other. I feel like your person may be walking away or healing from something that's very similar to what you've gone through. And there is a need here, Taurus, to um, focus on your self-love, self-care, self-healing, okay? Um, and just look at this connection as like their friend, okay? I feel like once we start putting labels on it, that's when we start having these certain expectations out of people. And... That's when relationships, friendships, partnerships get ruined, okay? I do get the sense that there's a lot of mirroring here. There's definitely a lot of mirroring. So I feel like you both are kind of in the same type of energy, the same space of you're done with the soulmate thing, both of you. You may very well even have a conversation that entails something along those lines. Like, yeah, we're sick of the soulmate thing. Mm -hmm, me too. I'm done with it. So let's take um, some cards here for the advice, Taurus. What is the advice moving forward for Taurus? Please and thank you for the month of April. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Clarity. I feel like being open and honest in this connection is going to bring this connection together. I do get the sense that if you open up, it's going to allow a space for this person to open up as well. And vice versa. This is a strong connection or will be a strong connection. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other, even though I know you're not hearing that Taurus. You're not hearing the, um, this is a soulmate. I feel like you're not in that space. You don't even want to deal with that right now. But I do feel like this is going to, this has potential to be a strong connection if you cultivate that. Okay. But you have to give it space for that to grow. It's kind of like 
you can imagine it like when you put like a fish in a fish tank. Okay, when you put a fish in a fish tank, if you put a fish in a smaller fish tank, like let's say you put a goldfish in like a small tank inside your house for your kids to see. That fish only grows so big, right? But if you put that same fish like outdoor in a pond or in a lake, those goldfish get big. It's a little scary. Like, dang, that thing's in my house in a fish tank. Check it out. It's crazy. It's all about the habitat and the cultivation of the environment that you put that thing in. Well, a relationship is a thing. So in order for you to cultivate the relationship, you have to give it the right environment for it to grow in, right? I am going to do an extended reading just for shits and giggles, Taurus. I'm going to take a little bit deeper look into your person. Um, I want to see where their head space is at a little bit deeper. We'll look a, a little bit deeper into um, where this is headed. What steps to take. We'll look at the guidance cards. We'll pull up the soul truth. If that's something you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Also guys, if you are interested, I do offer um, access to all of the extended readings over on Vimeo. And it's only $14 a month, but you get access to all the extended readings for all of the signs for the entire month. So check that out. It's the second link if that's something that you guys are interested in. The power thought card that's coming out for you guys is I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. So Taurus, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.